<laughs> They'll probably hang you, buddy. <laughs> You coming, buddy? In the late 1800s, America was evolving, on its way to becoming the most powerful country in the world. New immigrants arrived, thriving outposts became towns, and civilization was spreading rapidly into the huge, wild, and lawless frontier. With Red Dead Redemption 2, Rockstar Games aims to create a living world that's not simply open, but deeper. Come on, pretty boy. More interactive and detailed than ever. Pretty boy? <laughs> Combining action, storytelling, we need to get those people warm and fed, and gameplay in new ways. As you live, ride, and fight to survive as an outlaw in a notorious gang. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. The game is an attempt to capture this pivotal moment when the Age of Outlaws was ending and the modern world was born. There is a huge world to explore, set across a range of America's heartland and frontier. From harsh mountain trails and dense forests to untamed swamplands and sweeping deserts, rugged livestock towns to modernizing cities and much more. All populated with a diverse cast of characters from turn of the century life. Now shoo, please. I'm waiting for someone interesting to turn up. You play as Arthur Morgan, a trusted senior gun in the Vanderling Gang, a band of outlaws and outcasts on the run from the pressures of civilized life. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. Each time they're forced to flee an area, the gang sets up a camp as a base. This is where gang members eat, sleep, perform chores, play games, and share stories. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was, and he decided I was gonna be hanged for it. These are the people Arthur calls family, and you will get to know each gang member over the course of the game. So, you save the silly bastard's life and you and him go robbing sheep. Helping the camp with food and supplies will keep morale high, while spending time with other gang members can reveal new secrets, fun things to do, and opportunities for mischief. How about you and me go and redistribute some property? In and out of camp, the world is alive and responds to the player. Well, ain't this a rare treat? And your guns aren't the only way to interact with the environment. Call out to a passing rider. That's a nice horse. Talk yourself into trouble with a local tough guy. Clear out. Or out of trouble with a town sheriff. Or intimidate a witness into silence. And more. Keep your mouth shut. You're dead, friend. You don't want to involve yourself with this. Confrontations can be escalated or diffused. Take it easy. Do what you want. I don't care. You can form friendships. God. You did it. Or make enemies as you choose. You killed my cousin, you sick son of a bitch! Your actions have consequences, and it's up to you to decide just how honorable Arthur is. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? <laughs> Shooting and fighting have both been radically improved to make combat deep and engaging at all times. Each weapon has unique characteristics with realistic reload and recoil that always keeps the player grounded and connected to the action in a gunfight. In a similar way, the bond with your horse is crucial and changes based on your treatment of the animal. Hold still, girl. Some breeds are better suited for certain tasks. I got a fella been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. Your saddle and saddlebags can store extra weapons, along with supplies and animal carcasses that you pick up while out roaming or hunting. Over time, the bond between you and your horse will grow, making them easier to control in tense situations. Yeah, he's a great horse, aside from when the devil got him. A rich and varied ecosystem thrives in the world, full of predators, prey, and scavengers, all smart and sometimes deadly. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Hunting helps the camp or earns you money. Wound an animal, and you'll have to track them down. 
Animal pelts and other items you find can be traded for cash to use at general stores, gunsmiths, saloons, and elsewhere. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. This is a world that is rich in depth and detail. All designed to be explored on horseback or on foot. As you live the fateful journey of a gang of outlaws on the run across America. In the next gameplay video, we'll look at missions, activities, enemy gangs, robberies, other things to do, and much more, including the evolution of sharpshooting using the Deadeye system. Nothing here. All right.
Nothing here. I was already too much. Let's go. I made it. You've been mistaken again. Oh, but I'll never forget this smell. Inquisitor doesn't do things by halves. Not bad at all. Come on, mate. Give me a few coins at least. <gasps> no! You must have something. Something worthwhile. Everyone's got a bit of treasure. Come on, Amicia. Do something. of here. off the highway. We've got to get some men together, go after them. Don't look at me, it ain't my problem. They've got Manny. You sent Manny on a supply run. I just run the camp deep. I don't tell folks how to live their lives. Go to hell, Cope! Oh, <laughs> 
Let's do this. Yeah? You want some of this? Why do you have you always have a bad attitude? You know? I have a bad attitude. Uh, I have a bad attitude. Yeah, you have a bad attitude. Yeah. What you just, do you yeah, just don't talk. Okay. Yes, better. If we just don't talk. <coughs> yo, yo, where are you at, man? Hey, shut the hell up. Shh. Make it do what you got to do. He's not being that loud. You shut the hell up. Thank you. You shut up. Okay. Shh. I want all of you to shut the hell up. What is your problem? No, oh, shh, shh, shh. There's something out there. I 
wasn't gonna let him kill you. Besides, who the hell is around here knows how to rebuild a carburetor? about my patrols. Don't go here, don't go there. It's funny how involved he gets whenever you're scheduled to go out. Yeah. She's, uh, it's putting on quite the show. I give you guys two weeks until you're back together. Not gonna happen. She, uh, say something to you? Make it one week. Ellie! Hey! What took you so long? Oh, well, I'm here, aren't I? Dina? Jesse? Hey, don't forget we leave at first light, so get some rest. Yes, sir. You're such a dick. Come on. Why don't you start with me? Okay, I have a very serious question for you. How bad do I smell? Like a hot pile of garbage. Oh, okay. Oh, how about that? Gross. <laughs> you love it. Every guy in this room is staring at you right now.
through here. Oh, <laughs> 
Phase four, chase it! You know what they'll do to me if you turn me in. Model 87400-4961. Serious malfunctions have been detected in your software, including Class 4 errors. You've been deemed effective and will be sent back to Cyberlife for deactivation. Don't you fucking move. You bastard. You saw I was gonna fall, and you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission! I had to make a choice. It seemed to me... What am I to you? A statistic? A zero? A one in your fucking program? Huh? Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Jesus. I understand you're upset. Perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment! Come here. Why are you doing this? All right. You're one of us. Shut up! You're helping humans, but you're just their slave. I said, shut up! All right, come along. All right, now you save me. Hey, what the fuck? Holy shit. Fuck it, Andrew. Thank you. 